is my 2002 Jetta uh, Volkswagen with a TDI. It's an ALH engine. It has a bad mass airflow sensor. These are a sensor that fails fairly often on these engines. I'm not going to go sh go through the diagnosis of whether this is bad or not. There's other videos on that. Uh, you can hook up uh, the, the one of those VACCOM computers or an alternative computer from Ross Tech like I have and read the values coming off that sensor as you're driving and tell that it's bad. But I know this one is bad. There's an upgraded part that's not as prone to failure. Here's the part number if you need that. It is slightly different. I'll show you when this comes off. This is a really easy thing to change out. In fact, a lot of times the hardest part will just be getting this plug undone. Generally, you should be able to press on that tab there and pull it out. Sometimes that doesn't come out very easily and you'll have to get a little uh, pick in there and lift uh, up on a tab to be able to get that out. It shouldn't be terribly difficult to get off of there. I've got another video that kind of shows you how to manipulate those picks if you're having troubles with that. But then you'll get a pair of pliers, squeeze this clamp, pull off your intake tube. I'm going to leave that on there so it's not fully decompressed and it'll be hard if I take it off of here and allow that to close out here. It'll be hard to get my pliers back on it. So I'm going to leave it on that piece. And then from here it takes a Phillips head to unscrew this sensor from the air cleaner box. There's two of these Phillips heads. One's kind of hidden back in here. just pops out I think I'm doing this on camera I haven't pre taken this thing out but that should just come out of there now there's what your old one looks like <coughs> and this new upgraded part I'll show you that part number again from Bosch there's aftermarket ones that you can buy as well. A lot of the aftermarket ones tend to be this old style. I don't mean I don't know if that means they're more prone to failure or not, but I try to just buy the Bosch part whenever I can. And you can see how much different that one looks. These are a little less prone to failure, supposedly. We're gonna insert that back in. Phillips heads back in. Take our clamp off the old one, put it onto our new one. You can spray some Windex in there or something if you're having trouble getting that hose back in position. There you go, reattach your clip. That's it, that's all it takes. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.